Hello, my name's Jendo, and today I'm going to show you five different ways to wire up an iron door. Uh, generally, the uh, most basic way of doing this is just to stick a button either side of the door, and then push the button and you run through. This has an issue, particularly if you're playing on a multiplayer server. Uh, if the uh, lag on the server's a little bit high, then you, you have trouble getting through the door before it closes. Um, and it becomes really frustrating, especially if you're being chased by mobs and stuff. So we've got different ways of uh, operating the door, and I'm going to show you how to build them. Okay, the first one here uses an RS NOR latch. Uh, if you don't know what they are, I did do a video about them. I'll put a link in the top there for you. But you push the button to open the door, and the door stays open until you go through it. And uh, when you hit that pressure plate, it shuts the door. Uh, very simple, it gives you uh, as much time as you need to get through. And uh, obviously, um, it's not going to shut in your face before you uh, uh, get through the door. So, let me show you how to build this. First of all, choose where you want your door to go. And then we're going to dig down two blocks apart from uh, that block in the corner there and this block here. So uh, what we're going to do is put a redstone on that block there and then a block above it and that's where your button's going to go, like so. Okay, now we're going to the hole we made. Put a redstone torch on that block, the one with the redstone there, and one on this block here. And then all we've got to do is put a redstone piece of dust across there. And uh, we need to put a repeater underneath where the actual door is, the block that's on the door. And that is it, done. So if we put our pressure plate there, and uh, all right, there's the door, and there you go. Now, you can fill this in, but unfortunately, if you fill that block in, <laughs> you get a bit of freaking out of the door until the torch burns out. So, you've got a choice here. You could either just stick a half slab there, that way it doesn't activate the torch going, or what you could do is uh, make the door sort of a too wide entrance, and uh, that covers it up as well. There you go. Okay, the next one I'm going to show you is very similar build with an RS NOR latch. But with this one, it's just on a timer. So you hit the button and the door opens and after a set amount of time, the door closes. Now, RS NOR latches have two inputs. This is the first input, it's called a set. And that uh, gives you, if you give that a pulse, that gives you an output. And then uh, this block here is the second input, and it's called the reset. And if you give that an imp, uh, a pulse, then it uh, turns off the output. So all we've got to do is, when we hit the button, we run a signal coming around here, and we slow that down by using repeaters on four ticks. And then when it hits the reset block, it closes the door. So if you want to make this door open for longer, you just put more repeaters in the line. And if you want it shorter, you use less repeaters. So it's pretty much the same build, apart from the chain of repeaters. So we start off doing the uh, RS NOR latch. Dig down to there, to there. And we need to get in there like that. So uh, first of all, put the redstone there. And the torch there. Torch on the back of that one. And we want redstone there and uh, a repeater there. As you know, that's the same as the first one we built. And then next, what we want to do is to uh, start doing our repeaters. So if we dig down here, two. And once we've dig that out, we'll put one repeater facing that direction and then some repeaters facing in this direction. A couple here, and the last one here. Now we want to put these all on four ticks. That slows down the uh, progress of the signal then. So they're all on four ticks. And we just need to link these two up with some redstone dust at the end there. 
and uh, that should be everything so fill it all back in don't put a block there unfortunately it's the same again it will cause the door to freak out oh I've done it again haven't I <laughs> all right so we're just going to use a half slab and uh, there we go we need a button oh, this is the wrong place button there sorry okay next one right well, we're going to do the same as this build but we're going to do it for double doors and these are the same you walk through pressure plate closes them button opens it on the front there I'm not sure why we've got a button there now there is a weird thing about this and that is this pressure plate won't close the door it's only this one on the right hand side now it's not an issue because when you go through the door chances are you're going to hit both pressure plates anyway but uh, just to warn you that if you go to the very left then you don't activate the further pressure plate and the door won't close but like I said if you're in the middle it's fine and the reason for that is is we can't put a redstone block uh, dust underneath that pressure plate because it interferes with the rest of it and uh, there are ways around that but it, it makes the redstone incredibly complicated and it's just not worth the aggravation so this is fairly the same setup with the RS nor latch and uh, I'll show you how to build it right let's start with our doors Get those right and then we dig down one there two there one there and then we go across there like so and uh, we need to go out one more block like that and uh, start off the same redstone dust there torch there and we need a uh, torch there and we have a repeater going into that block and then uh, what we're going to do here is put redstone dust along there like so and uh, that's everything just double check so put the blocks in like that and repeaters in there uh, actually repeaters there and uh, yeah that's everything we uh, there we go doors open they stay open obviously we need a half slab there again or you could just make it too thick the wall there but we can fit in the rest of these blocks and uh, yeah pressure plate closes it there you go okay next one my we used here is a t flip flop uh, i've got a video about t flip flops if you want to see how to build different t flip flops with this one i used a uh, one that uses two hoppers that facing each other gonna need hoppers uh, this one door stays open and you go through and it stays open until you hit the button on the back and the door closes so it's fairly compact and uh yeah, we'll make a start building this. Okay, then. start off with your door like that. And then we need to dig down again. Three blocks, like so. And uh, leave a block up there. And that's it, really. We might need a bit of space here. So, uh, okay, start off again with redstone dust there. And a block above it. And that's where our button's going to go. Right. We need a little bit more space here. Your redstone torch there. Now we need uh, two hoppers facing into each other. So, like that. And then we put redstone dust on the top. Now, as you can see, that's burning out a torch. So we need a block. I can get it there. There we 
go on top of there like that okay and the comparator coming out of the hopper and then the repeater and then we got redstone dust coming into the door there uh, last but not least put one item inside the hopper and uh, get a freak out but just push the button once and that sorts it out um, then we can fill this in now uh, you can't put a block there or there so uh, just build the uh, the wall that frames the door out and uh, there we go fill these in and we've got a button to go through and uh, stick a button there so that will close it and that's how to build a T flip flop controlled iron door okay last but not least this uh, I consider this to be an internal door and we've just got pressure plates on either side doesn't matter which pressure plate you stand on both doors open and as you go through they close behind you Obviously, this is not going to stop mobs from getting in your base. So, yeah, an internal door or maybe if you've got a secure courtyard or something, you could use it. But you don't want to use this to stop mobs spawning because it just won't work. All right. Start with placing our iron doors there. And we dig down one there and then dig down two. And uh, dig down uh, another one there. We need the two underneath there to be dug out. And if we just come around here, it's the same again. Like that. Right, redstone dust. First of all, put two underneath the doors and then two where you're gonna to wanna to put the pressure plates. Come around this other side and another two where the pressure plates are gonna go on this side. And then run your redstone dust around like that and you need to have a block there to cut that line so uh, it forces the redstone to come up and around and then we just do the same on this side here put the block there and then we can start filling this in now we need to leave these two blocks unfilled or you could use um, a half slab and uh, same again as well is oops these two as well leave unfilled now we can hide that easily enough just by building the wall that's gonna act as the door frame uh, like so and then last but not least put your pressure plates in on that side and that side and there you go you've got your internal door and uh, that's it really so uh, Thanks for watching and uh, if you want to learn more about Redstone, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and uh, I'll see you again soon. Take care guys, bye.